It's nice out here. I'm going to tell you right now, it's nice out here, Tony. Okay, out in the garden, the soon-to-be garden. Soon with, to be garden. With David Whitlam. It's getting, Whitlam it's getting there. Organics. Good to see you. Good to see How you. How are you? I'm good. All right, so this is, uh, you've been working on this for a while now, planning this, and we're getting to the point where uh, you're building the garden. I'm building the garden. I'm at least putting the wood together. I still want to give this area another week or two, possibly, um, to see what weeds crop up. Yeah, yeah we're still um, thinking about that. Yeah, we still have some of the, some of the, uh, see, after a while, yeah. Anything oh. that's left behind the green, the actual plant part starts coming out. There's some nut sedge right there that's showing its head. So I want to give it a little while longer, but it's not too early to go ahead and start building the beds. There's that nut on the nut sedge. So. Okay, yeah. All right, let's get to it because you want to say some things about the type of wood that you're using. Sure. So we're going with the pressure-treated wood right now. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, when I started this business over 10 years ago, um, the the wood that was out there that, was, that they were pressure-treating it with had arsenic in it. And so it was very commonly known that you absolutely did not build a vegetable garden out of pressure-treated wood. So okay. a lot of people, I think, are still stuck in that idea. Right. When they were switching to this type of wood, I was still skeptical. So that was about five or six years ago, and I was using cedar only on my garden beds, which was the whole right garden was. Cedar costs about four times as much. Um, but since then, there's been plenty of studies. University of Florida has backed and the USDA has backed being able to grow your vegetables in a garden bed made out of the modern pressure treated wood. Okay, so that's what we're using. Yes, it's a micronized copper. Okay, you've got no problem with it. I've got no problem with it. So the copper that is used is actually used to spray on organic crops. It is okay. approved. One of the things you were talking about, you said this this wood though is very heavy. Oh, it's extremely heavy, which is actually why it's right about where I'm going to have it. I should still be able to shimmy it around to get the weeds out. Right. But, um, you know, this is an eight foot board. So basically to build this bed, I had to purchase three eight foot boards. Okay. Super simple. I just cut one of them in half. Okay. Okay. And then a four by four, which is what I make the corner posts out of. And um, so these are two by two by tens, but a two by 10 is not actually 10 inches wide. Okay. Okay. So I cut these at nine and a half inches. A two by 10 is just over uh, nine and a half inches. It doesn't have to be exact as long as it's not too big, unless you want it sticking up. Can um, get this anywhere? At yeah, this is any lumber yard, uh, any big box store, or anywhere else that sells wood. Um, this is uh, ground contact, pressure treated wood. Um, it's uh, got a little tag on it, which I believe is right here. Oh, just broke it. This is what the little tags look like, yeah. and it's going to have an MCA on it, which stands for micronized copper osseolot or something like that. All right. And that's what you kind of need to ask for when you go buy it, right? Yes. All right. Yes. You want okay. the ground contact stuff. Um, it's really heavy, so you want to make sure you build it right about where you're going to put it. Okay. Or make sure you have help being able to move it because this thing's going to be heavy when I'm done with it. All right. Thank you. Good to see you, my